Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens. I'm Carboot Chris and this is my new microphone. Now, I always said that I wouldn't get one of these things, but needs must. And um, it seems to be pretty good, actually. I'm Carboot Chris, coming at you with all the eBay shit. So today I'm going to be showing you what I've listed um, on eBay. Simple as that, really. Let's go. This thing's annoying me. Let's put it out of view. I'm going to show you what I listed today. Everything is from my death pile, which is huge. It's a bottomless pit. So I'm working my way through that. It's why I'm not doing much sourcing at the moment. So let's go through. So the first item is this um, Supergirl Dorbs figure. Um, this cost me £3. And it's listed at 11 99 It's kind of the higher end of what they're going for but i'm gonna i always put out offers and i'll take offers as well so i've listed it slightly higher than than uh, the average i've got a couple more daubs this is the same one this is spock um star trek again 2.99 and um these have gone on for 11.99 each uh, on a multi-listing. I've got this um, anger management toy. Um, he's at, his batteries are actually going. But what he... Uh, he shouts all kinds of obscenities. Um, I think he cost me two or three pound quite some time ago. This is from my death pile. Um, all these items are from a death pile that I'm working through at the moment. He's gone up for fourteen ninety nine. This is a little bundle that I put together. Um, it's um, a loot crate piece of art, uh, which I've put in a frame myself to make it quite nice. It's a nice little gift that for retro sort of gamers. Um, I've put a Dorbs Mega Man figure with it and a Mega Man uh, mini uh, kid robot figure. Is it like a blind box? Um, so all that together cost me probably two, uh, probably about six pound. And I think I've listed it for nineteen ninety nine. Next one up is this um, little bundle. It's a Terminator skull, which is from a, a loot crate. Um, it also comes with, I've done it with one of these brain chip keychains. It's one of the Terminator brain chips. And um, put those two together. I've got two lots, so it's a multi-listing, exactly the same. And these have gone up for what did i put them up for i think it's 14.99 plus shipping on top um cost me cost price really difficult to say on this probably only about two pound on each of these probably uh, we've got these two pac-man plushes not very bright isn't it two pac-man plushes um these actually sell pretty well as do these i've i've always sold quite well on these the ghost and pac-man himself six the ghost and pac-man himself um cost price probably a pound each so two pound listed for um Listed for fifteen ninety nine. 
here's another little bundle of stuff, um, mainly Loot Crate. I've been doing a few of these Loot Crate bundles. I've had a couple of good sales. Um, in this bundle is a Dragon Ball Z plush keychain, a Joker wooden figure, a Galaxy Quest patch, Freddy chopsticks, some Loot Crate metal straws, which are all the rage at the moment, these straws, aren't they? And three comics, um, an Outcast, Saga, and a Walking Dead comic. And that bundle has gone up for $24.99. Cost price, pretty tricky to work out. I'd probably say one, two, three, probably four pound, uh, listed for $24.99. Another Loot Crate bundle, a few bits and pieces here. So we've got a Space Invaders vinyl figure. We've got Assassin's Creed coin in our little bag. Team Fortress 2 pin badges. Batman and Robin tin puzzle. There's like a, a little, is it a jigsaw? A jigsaw puzzle inside. Two Loot Crate pins. Halo book. And a framed Ghostbusters postcard. The postcard came in a Loot Crate and I, I put the frame on it. So all in all, cost price probably... Probably four pound, and it's up for twenty four ninety nine. That's generally the sort of sell price that I look for on the loot crate bundles because I've got a lot of stuff, a lot of little knickknacks that I'm putting together. Here's a nice little one. This was buried deep in my um, death pile. I forgot I'd even bought it. It cost me two pound at a car boot sale. It's um, a Heimer RV camper van toy. It literally opens up. You can see inside. There's a lot of detail in it. All the doors and windows open. It's got a little, some little bits of accessories. Bike racks come out. It's, it's quite neat. And um, I put it up for $29.99. There's some that have sold for more and some that have sold for less. So I went in the middle, $29.99. Next up is this um, Magic the Gathering pop figure. Trying to get the light right. Um, don't ask me any of the characters in this. Chandra Nala. Chandra Nala. Um, I think the cost price on this was £3. Uh, brand new, I've put it up for twelve ninety nine. This was one that I had brought back from Amazon because they decided I couldn't sell it anymore for whatever reason. Um, it's a Pokemon Pokeball um, beanie hat by Nerd Block or the Arcade Block. Um, they're the guys. It's an American company who do like loot crate sort of subscription boxes and it came in one of those so cost price it's almost impossible for me to tell you but if we split it down the cost of the box probably two pound um i've listed it for 15 quid this is a nice one uh, gig t-shirts are always good and if the um gig is retro vintage 90s 80s there's a good chance you're going to make good money on it this is guns and roses um it's the hang on use your illusion tour 1992 1993 and i picked up this from one of the vintage kilo sales that i went to 
And it turns out this is pretty rare. There's one at the moment that's on bids. It's currently at £46, which I was really surprised about. So I've decided to list it at £59.99. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it or if I'm going to get anywhere near it. But there's there's not many on. And there's that one that's currently on bids. So £59.99 cost price. It was from Vintage Kilo. Um, in fact, I could do it now, couldn't I? I could work it out. Let's see what it weighs. 150 grams. So 15 pound a kilo. So how many of them? So 150, 300, 450, 600, 750. 900 so almost seven so that makes it about two pound i think someone's going to comment and say i got that wrong but if it's 15 pound a kilo and that weighs 150 grams i think we're in the region of two pound for that so two pound if i get 59.99 that will be excellent could be in dreamland here's another gig t-shirt bargain bell picked this one up the other day from a charity shop it's rush the time machine tour it's not got massive age on it it's 2011 european tour thing is i've never heard of rush rock band i believe when i did a little bit of googling on it i think they were a rock band but um this particular t-shirt I couldn't find any of the exactly the same. So it's going up for £20. And I think it was £2.50 that it cost Annabelle. Okay, I've got another bundle of Loot Crate stuff. Whoops, it easy. There we go. Um, it's got in it a little... This one's been opened, so I've listed it as open. But it's got a little figure... In it, I can't remember what it's from. That, um, so it's got that. It's got another Space Invaders um, vinyl figure. It's got another Dragon Ball Z plush thing. A couple of loot pins. Um, a two pack of these koozie beer holders from Futurama. And um, a Star Wars cheese grater. So again, twenty four ninety nine. I'm trying to aim for that price point when I do these bundles, uh, and the the cost is probably around four pound. And the final item that I listed was another bundle. Um, this time it's got another Dragon Ball Z keychain. A, what's this? A cute but deadly figure, which is this one, uh, which is Sylvanas. 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 Don't ask me. No clue at all on that. Um, it's got a Predator bottle opener, metal one. Two loot pins. Bob's Burgers um, recipe kit. A Zelda sweatband. And this loot crate image that has been uh, framed by myself, which looks really nice. Like a retro sort of vintage sort of image really nice that 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 goes nice um so all that again 24.99 standard price for these that i'm doing uh cost price that was probably about a fiver because of the frame in it frame probably cost me a pound at least two pound maybe but everything else is is maybe a pound each so maybe a fiver on that so that is everything that i've listed just today um 
obviously I'm full time now, so I've been listing today as well as a postal run. Uh, walked the dog, had a bit of lunch. So in the meantime, I listed that lot. I don't think I did too bad. Doing the bundles does take a little bit of time, and the clothing takes a bit of time. Um, but total listed value, if it all sells, is close to four hundred pound there. So not too bad. Some reasonably higher priced items as well over the £20 mark, which is good. So that is it. Um, thanks very much for watching. Oh, let me just bring down the microphone for this last bit. So thank you very much for watching Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Kabu Chris. Please make sure you subscribe and hit the like. We'll see you later.